After a decade-long wait by aviation enthusiasts, what kind of aerial powerhouse is this aircraft, and what pivotal role will it play on future battlefields? On December the 16th, the Y-30 completed its first public test flight at an airport in Xi'an. As photos of the Y-30 soaring through the sky with its agile posture instantly flooded the internet, the long-suppressed anticipation in the hearts of countless observers of China's aviation industry development finally erupted into jubilant cheers. Flashback to 2014 in Zhuhai, the intricate model labeled Y-30 New Medium Transport at Abex Exhibition Booth ignited boundless imagination about China's next-generation medium transport aircraft. Yet after that fleeting glimpse, the project seemed to vanish into deep waters. For 11 years of silence, only the Y-20 Heavy Transport's are inspiring service entry continuous improvements to the Y-9 platform, and rumors of new special mission aircraft like the KJ-600 emerged. Many began to question, with the Y-20 Kunpeng already in service and the continuously upgraded Y-9 fleet expanding, does the Chinese Air Force truly need an entirely new medium transport aircraft? This doubt reflects a deeper examination of China's strategic airlift requirements. The maiden flight of the Y-30, provides the most powerful and clearest answer to this very question. We must recognize that these 11 years of waiting were not idle. They represent an inevitable strategic balancing act between resources and missions within China's aviation industry. The burden on the units tasked with developing transport aircraft was immense. At that time, the Y-20 heavy transport aircraft, a cornerstone of strategic deployment capability, was in its critical final development phase the KJ-600 carrier-based early warning aircraft, serving as a force multiplier for aircraft carrier strike groups, naturally commanded top development priority. Additionally, projects like the Y-20 aerial refueling tanker, the deep modernization of the H-6K in strategic bombers, and the advanced series of special mission aircraft covering early warning, command, and electronic countermeasures, each represented urgent tasks to fill critical gaps, and enhance integrated combat capabilities. In contrast, the Y-9 transport aircraft, derived from the aging and 12 framework through multiple upgrades, though inherently limited, at least meets basic requirements for medium lift transport and special mission platforms. Therefore, prioritizing more urgent projects over the Y-30, an upgrade rather than a new generation platform, represented a rational choice aligned with China's overall aviation development logic at the time. This seemingly prolonged hiatus actually granted the Y-30 a valuable window of opportunity. It enabled the incorporation of the latest aviation technological advancements, allowing for a complete redesign from a higher baseline. The goal was to address the inherent shortcomings that had plagued the Y-89 series for decades. When the newly designed Y-30 made its debut, Every detail revealed in its maiden flight photos thrilled knowledgeable military enthusiasts. The most striking feature was its choice of propulsion system. Unlike the C-390 and other new generation medium transport aircraft that adopted turbofan engines, the Y-30 steadfastly retained a configuration of four high-power turboprop engines. This decision carries significant meaning. While turboprop engines may fall short of turbofans in maximum speed and high-altitude cruise efficiency, they deliver superior low-speed traction. This enables the Y-30 to perform short takeoffs and landings at rudimentary, limited-length field airstrips, a core capability for tactical transport aircraft, determining their ability to deliver troops and equipment directly to the front lines. More significantly, its power comes from the domestically developed EP-500 turboprop engine, delivering a single engine output of 5,000 kilowatts with four engines delivering a combined output of 20 megawatts. This not only marks a milestone breakthrough for China in high-power turboprop engine development, but also positions its performance metrics firmly among the world's top tier. It provides the Y-30 with significantly greater thrust than the Y-9 platform and lays a solid foundation for future performance enhancements. The second standout feature that cannot be overlooked is the clearly visible folding winglet design at the wing tips. This aerodynamic design, reminiscent of the U.S. Air Force's C-17 Globemaster transport aircraft, is far from mere decoration. Its core function lies in effectively mitigating wingtip vortices and reducing induced drag. In simpler terms, it enables the aircraft to fly more efficiently while maintaining equivalent lift, significantly improving fuel economy and extending range. This detail fully embodies the Y-30's design philosophy of pursuing the ultimate balance between cost-effectiveness and long-range deployment capabilities. The most exciting and arguably the crowning touch is the slender yet conspicuous aerial refueling probe at the aircraft's nose. This configuration is unprecedented for the Y-89 series platforms, 
having previously appeared only on the specially modified KJ-500 early warning aircraft adapted for carrier operations. The significance of this probe is immense, as it directly grants the Y-30 the potential for virtually unlimited range extension. Consider the past, when the Y-9 conducted long-range missions, it relied on multiple refueling stops at airports and transit countries. This not only consumed considerable time and resources but also placed the aircraft at the mercy of political and diplomatic constraints. Now, the Y-30 can conduct aerial refueling with the operational Y-20 large tanker aircraft, replenishing fuel mid-flight. This means that departing from mainland China with just one or two aerial refuelings, the Y-30's deployment range can easily cover all of Africa, the Middle East, the South Pacific, and even South America. Whether for supplying remote offshore islands, overseas peacekeeping operations, emergency evacuation missions, or rapid long-range troop deployment, the Y-30 will serve as a responsive, direct-to-target aerial bridge, truly extending the strategic reach of the Chinese Air Force globally. Beyond these visible advancements, the Y-30's comprehensive enhancement and hard metrics solidifies its status as a new generation aircraft. Its maximum payload is projected to surge to approximately 30 tons, a qualitative leap from the Y-9's 20-ton class. This means core equipment of China's medium combined arms brigades, such as new medium main battle tanks, large caliber self-propelled artillery, and multiple rocket launchers, can be fully loaded for air transport, significantly enhancing the strategic mobility of the Army's heavy weaponry. In avionics and flight control systems, it will undoubtedly integrate the latest advancements developed for cutting-edge aircraft like the Y-20. Featuring an advanced integrated avionics architecture and fly-by-wire flight control system, it not only reduces pilot workload, but also enhances flight quality and safety. Its cargo hold design will undoubtedly be optimized featuring more rational cross-sectional shapes lower cargo floor clearance, and more efficient loading and loading systems. This ensures rapid loading and loading in field conditions, shortens ground turnaround times, and boosts deployment efficiency. Particularly noteworthy is that the Y-30 is far more than a simple transport aircraft. Historically, the y 89 platform earned its reputation as the cradle of China's special mission aircraft by spawning nearly 30 variants, including the KJ-500 early warning aircraft, the GX series electronic reconnaissance aircraft, anti-submarine patrol aircraft, and command and communications aircraft. These form the backbone of special mission fleets for both the Chinese Air Force and naval aviation. With its more spacious cabin, enhanced power and cooling systems, superior flight performance, and significantly extended range and endurance, the Y-30 will undoubtedly become the ideal universal platform for China's next-generation special mission aircraft. We can foresee that next-generation aircraft developed on the Y-30 platform, including airborne early warning command aircraft, strategic electronic reconnaissance aircraft, long-range anti-submarine patrol aircraft, and battlefield command and communications relay aircraft, will achieve revolutionary improvements in detection range, information processing capabilities, endurance, and mission flexibility. This will comprehensively elevate the integrated combat capabilities of the Chinese Air Force and naval aviation. In summary, the successful maiden flight of the Y-30 signifies that the final critical piece of China's airborne strategic projection capability has finally fallen into place. Together with the heavy transport aircraft Y-20, they will form a perfect complementarity and seamless integration of capabilities. Combined with existing platforms like the Y-9, they will collectively weave a powerful airborne projection network that is comprehensive in coverage, tiered in capability, and swift in response.